29. Welcome back. One of North Dakota's most beloved musicals will be kicking off this weekend. That's right. And new this morning, Aaron, he made the trip to, to talk to some of the cast. And uh, Aaron, this was the first time for you. It was. Medora's beautiful. Um, but how many times have y'all actually been in the musical? I've lost count because I've been going there since I was a kid. I've been there once and it was fantastic. And it's like different every time, right? Yes, yeah. it is. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to go try it out. But um, anyways, people from all over the nation performing this musical, and I talked to a few of them who are from right here in North Dakota. I'm from Minot, North Dakota. So I grew up in Watford City. I grew up in Dickinson, North Dakota. Grew up in Bismarck, North Dakota. Born and raised in North Dakota, all four of them had the same dream, to perform. I remember in third grade, I did a show and I played an owl and my one line was, give a hoot, don't pollute. The minute I stepped on that stage and I felt that rush of energy and excitement. All of them have traveled around the nation doing different gigs, but being able to be a part of the Medora musical is something they can't compare anything else to. This show is very different to any show that I've ever done. The, the Badlands is the backdrop, the outdoor amphitheater, the amount of seats that we have. It's just something very special that you don't really get to see anywhere else. Medora definitely feels most special to me, um, mostly because I, I've seen the Medora musical since I was three. Um, in a way, I think it's what somewhat inspired me to do theater because this was my first access to live theater as a kid but as a little girl growing up and seeing it from the other side I knew that's something I wanted to be a part of and I'm so happy I am. But it goes even further than that. The cast has turned into one big family. Do y'all ever get like tired of each other because y'all are constantly like working together? Never. No. <laughs> <laughs> this whole cast is family. From the day we all get here, everyone treats each other as if we're brothers and sisters, and it's always it's always a family affair. So we're all just kind of best friends, and we're all singing together and you know goofing around. That's I think that's you know kind of my favorite part of this experience so far. You know when you come here and you come to the amphitheater and you have a show, you step on the stage, you have to leave everything else behind, and we're one unit. We can't do it without each other. So me and Lane are actually going to get a little preview of what y'all should expect this weekend. So are y'all ready, guys? Ready. All right. So come home. Come, come home, home to North Dakota. North Dakota is the place where you belong. I know that ending makes me cringe every time, but they have been taking the necessary precautions in order to stay safe as possible, and they are still expecting a good crowd while practicing social dis distancing, and I will have more information on that coming up tonight. But Josh and Alicia, how did you like my voice? You know, the... that's really funny, because we heard, we had this story the, earlier this morning, and I was like so into, is Lane singing there? Yeah. Yes. And, and he was singing, and I didn't even kill this little final. Oh. Um, <laughs> you're keeping beat. Yeah, and were... I just I'm going to go back there, not just to see the musical, but maybe they can give me some le singing lessons. Alicia, you could probably give me some singing lessons, too. Oh, you, you're welcome to come over anytime. Okay, let's do that. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Keep it with us.